So let's build on this concept more by moving on from two events to a situation where three events were involved. So I have three events here. We'll call them A, B, and C. So the question here is, what is the conditional probability of A union B given a condition C? In other words, the possibility of A or B occurring in a set that contains all the C outcomes. So if you look at this diagram here, that would be this entire blue section, which is events associated with A or B in my set C. To represent this using a formula, an easy way to do it is by starting with the formula for P A union B. What is P A union B? It is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus their intersection as we don't want any overlap or repeated terms showing up. So the conditional probability of the union will just be the conditional probability of A plus the conditional probability of B minus the conditional probability of their intersection. Same formula with the condition attached to each term. But there's one thing we don't quite know. Conditional probability of the intersection of two sets. How do you find that? Remember conditional probability of A on B is nothing but A events common to B divided by all B events. Applying the same thing for A intersection B, it would be A intersection B events common to C divided by all C events. In other words, my numerator will be the segment that contains events common to all these three, A, B, and C. So if you look at my diagram here, the portion common to all the three events will be this blue portion, A intersection B, intersection C. So my conditional probability of A intersection B now becomes B, A intersection B, intersection C, divided by the probability of C, which represents all these C events. So now we have another problem. How do we calculate the intersection of three sets? We've only dealt with two so far. We'll use an example to understand this. So here I have four red, four black, and four white balls placed in a box. And I'm gonna pick out three balls from it. So the question to you is, what is the probability that my first pick is a red ball, the second pick is a black, and the third is a white ball? So let me draw my box here. Four red, four blue, and four green balls in it. And the conditions I need to fulfill are first pick to be red, second pick to be blue, and the third pick to be green. What is the probability that all these three events are favorable? We'll start with our first pick being red. During my first pick, I have four red balls, four black, and four green balls in this box. So the probability of a red pick will be 4 over 12. 4 red balls, 12 balls in total, which is 1 over 3. So let's move on to calculating the conditional probability of the second draw being blue, given that our first draw is red.
So if I'll take my second pick now, I'm only left with three red balls in the boxes. One red ball has already been taken out. And then I have four blue and four green balls. So the conditional probability of a blue pick is favorable outcomes divided by total outcomes, which is four over 11. Four blue balls out of 11 balls in total. So moving on now, what is the probability that my third pick is green given that two conditional probabilities are met? The first condition is pick one is red and the second condition is pick two is blue. So if I look at my box during the third draw, it has three red balls and three blue balls as, as one of each were taken out during pick one and pick two and we have four green balls. So conditional probability of a green ball being taken out in my third pick is 4 over 10. 4 green balls out of 10 balls in total. So now if I want to find a probability that pick 1 is red, pick 2 is blue, and pick 3 is green. In other words, the probability that all these three outcomes are favorable I simply multiply the probability of the first draw being red with the conditional probabilities of my second and third draw being blue and green. So this will be 4 over 12 into 4 over 11 into 4 over 10. Here my 4 over 10 can be simplified as 2 over 5 and 4 over 12 will be 2 over 6. So when you multiply all of this you get 16 over 330 or 0 0.02 or 2%. So if we sum all this up here when we have three dependent events A, B and C The intersection of all of this will be given by P of A into the conditional probability of B given A into the conditional probability of C given A and B. But there's one more thing you might wonder about. What would happen if my three sets were independent? what would then be the probability that all of these are favorable? So what we'll do is to start with the earlier formula of the intersection of A, B, and C for dependent events. So here, the conditional probability of B will be nothing but the probability of B as occurrence of A has no effect on B. Similarly, the conditional probability of C will be nothing but the probability of C, as the occurrence of either A or B doesn't really affect its likelihood. Then the probability of their intersection is given by P of A into P of B into P of C.